Hi everyone, it's Steven Wong here and today we'll be looking at the first of many mini tutorials on desktop automation with UI Vision. So we'll start with um, opening up UI Vision and creating a macro. You can name the macro whatever you want but what I've done is call it launch handbrake because that's the application that I'm going to automate today. Okay, now to do desktop automation, we have to uh, we have to turn it on first. Now there are two ways to do it. One which is what is shown now, which is via the settings menu, um, where you can uh, turn on uh, desktop automation. But there is a second way to do it, and we'll explore that by first turning off the settings. Uh, and the second way to do it is really to add a command within your macro itself, which is uh, S X desktop automation, and we set that to true. Okay, and next I'm going to launch the Handbrake application. And to do that, I use a command called xrun. Now, if you want to try out the Handbrake application, you can download it from the link there. Now, what xrun needs is the path to the executable of that application. So in this case, I'm typing in the path to the Handbrake app that I've installed on my computer. So, and it is quite a long path when it's on the Mac. Okay, so once I've done that, we'll save the macro and let's see if the macro works. Okay, so you can see Handbrake being launched, but on the Mac, uh, the Handbrake application is launched behind the UI Vision video. Um, but what we're gonna do is let's quit uh, the Handbrake application for now. Um, and we what we want to do is see how this macro will work on the Windows side of things. So I ported the application over to uh, the, the macro over to the Windows and you can see um, when I run it on Windows, um, the behavior is slightly different because the Handbrake application opens up at the front of the UI Vision re, uh, window instead. So this is a common issue uh, when we talk about automation, um, things do behave differently and we need to be conscious of this so that we can handle it and we'll do that in the next part. So what we'll do is uh, handle this is to add an if then else kind of construct into the um, macro and here essentially what I'm doing here is checking uh, if the operating system where the macro is running is a Mac. And if it is, um, you know, I would want to click uh, at a specific location on the screen. Uh, in this case, it's at this particular coordinate that you see there uh, on the screen, which uh, essentially will be uh, the window of the Handbrake application when it launches. Okay, and we need to close out the if then else condition. So what it's doing now is if it's a Mac, we will have that additional step. Okay, so you notice now that when we execute it, um, because of that extra click, uh, the handbrake window is brought to the forefront. And what we're going to do next is to close out this window um, and by clicking that cancel button. And we will use a feature on UI Vision called the Optical Character Recognition or the OCR uh, feature. So here, um, to do that, we use the X click command. And the X click command, we will pass in a parameter that says OCR equals to cancel. And we put the cancel within the square brackets to indicate that that is the full word that we are looking for, the word cancel. Okay, so we'll save it. Let's play it and see what happens. Handbrake opens, bring it to the forefront. And you will notice that in the background, the OCR is in progress. It's trying to look for that cancel button. Found it and it clicked it very quickly. Um, as you can see, OCR does take a bit of time um, because uh, UI Vision sends it to a service on the internet to process it. Now let's see how it works on the Windows application environment. Now I brought the script over. 
but as uh, handbrake is installed at a different path on the Windows environment, so I want to I need to update the path to the handbrake application when I'm running it on the Windows environment. Okay, let's see if it works. Window pops up. Now we are running the OCR. It's looking for the cancel button. Found it, click it, and now we are back to the main window of Handbrake. Now next we want to close off the Handbrake application and we can do it in two ways. Either by going through the menu or by pressing alternate F4, which you just saw there. So how can we automate this step? Let's do that next. So what we'll do is to add a command and the command is called xtype. xtype is what UI Vision uses to send keyboard commands, keyboard or keystrokes into the uh, computer. And we are sending in the alternate and the F4 keys represented by what you see on the screen there. Okay, done, we'll save it. And we'll play the macro. UI Vision launches. Clicks close, and you can see that now we click the cancel button and the application is closed. And that's it, folks. So, what we looked at today is we saw how we could use UI Vision to launch an application. We saw how when an application runs in a Mac or on the Windows, it could potentially have different behaviors. Using the if construct, uh, we could decide if the script is running on a Mac or on a PC and take uh, special steps uh, to overcome the differences. Uh, we also saw how we use the OCR feature to look for the button cancel and click on it. And lastly, we saw how we could send keystrokes into the application by using the X type command. So until our next tutorial, so please Send me some feedback uh, in, the, in, the, in the links below uh, and let me know what you like about the video or what you do not like about it. So thank you very much for watching. So till the next time, signing off.